As someone who loves building front-end interfaces, I spend a lot of time going through different websites, checking out different animation styles, fonts. For example, recently I came across this website. I have no relationship with them and I just love the interface and the way that they compose the different elements, grid and all those stuff. Another example is Unsplash. Now, if I'm interested in knowing what these styles are, the fonts, the paddings and all those things, well, the obvious thing to do is to go to the dev tools i can come to this search inspect it i can see the styles for that search one thing you notice with all these styles is that they are broken based on the selectors and if i want to see the input in the focus state i have to right click for state and put it in focus and then i can see the styles that are applied for focus which is here and here if you're someone who spends a lot of time with the dev tools like me you would agree that sometimes it can be a pain to find the specific css information you're interested in be it pseudo classes, pseudo elements, media queries. And that's why I'm excited to introduce my sponsor today, CSS Scan. With CSS Scan, you have a fast and easy way to inspect just any element, and you most likely never have to go to the dev tools anymore. You can head on to getcssscan.com to learn more about this extension. So I can come to extensions and CSS Scan, and now I have CSS Scan inspecting anything that I hover on. So if I hover here, I have all of the styles applied to this text whether they are normal styles pseudo classes pseudo elements media queries and one thing you also notice is how fast the extension is so if i hover on this button it inspects it so fast if i hover on this section here or these tabs here it inspects it so fast and if i want to copy the styles applied to this heading for example i can just click it and it is copied. Then I can head on to code pen, for example, and paste. And these are all the styles that it gathered for that element. And in this case, I only copied the CSS. But when you come to options, you can also choose to copy the HTML. Currently, it's on don't copy it. And I can come back here. Currently, I'm hovering on the span. But if I press the up arrow key, then it goes to the H1. So you can also navigate with the keyboard. And now that I'm on the H1, I can click. And if I go to this code pen, remove this and paste this HTML. And now we have that style applied here but then let's say i want to change the style i don't always have to go to code pen or my editor to change things and see how they look i can actually change it live which is also one of the beautiful features about css scan so if i press the space bar this is going to lock this here and now i can change this so for example i can change the color of the span to yellow or oh, actually i'm selecting just one of the spans so i can close this and i can select the whole h1 press space by again and okay, now i can change the color from here and this is going to apply to the whole of h1 and i can see just what it looks like let's try the same thing on unsplash so extensions css scan i can come here and select the whole of this element click on it to copy and then i can head to code pen to paste this now in your case you might not need to copy all this section you might just be interested in this layout or this search but the beauty of this tool is that you can copy html and it will copy that html along with the children element now coming back to the options we have seen that in the options you can copy html code or choose not to copy it if you're just interested in the styles but there are a couple of other options here you can turn on the grid so that i know what the box model of each element is and then there are a few options here but one option i want to show you here is that you can convert the copied css to tailwind css if you're somebody who uses tailwind a lot and then i can come here press the up arrow key until i get the parents that i'm interested in okay, now that i have everything selected i can lock this with the space bar and then i can come here to copy the code now heading back to code pen you're going to see that it selects the form which is the form that we have here now and you see that it also has tailwind classes in them the reason why these tailwind classes are working is because i have the tailwind cdn here and coming back here again a lot of other options too you can copy fonts for somebody who uses sas or less you can also nest pseudo classes and elements just like you would do in those css frameworks one thing to note is that if you want to use this extension you need to pay for a license and if you use my code decode 
code with the link below you get a 20 percent discount on the license it's something you buy once and you can use forever like i said if you're someone who does a lot of front-end work a tool like this would greatly save you time you can easily experiment different css features on your own website or on other websites without having to spend time navigating the dev tools or having your code in your editor and seeing how it looks like in development before pushing to production you can experiment directly in production